What's up, guys? Crumpy here. <clears throat> Pretty much just doing these back to back, back to back. Um, so this video is going to be about my experience for working at Hilton. I was a night audit for Hilton. I only lasted about a week. That property was horrible, horrible. So the property I was at had what 275 rooms, like 300. 75 it was either 275 or 375 rooms property was broke down it was a double tree it was just bad it was broke down bums would come in at nighttime for night audit which is what i was doing there was only there's only me and one of one other security guard so security was trash some of the doors were busted some of the locks didn't work on the doors so yeah that property was horrible the pay was good it was really nice but for the things you had to deal with oh and the cookies the cookies were fire but if you have to put yourself through all that just for a job it's not worth it it's really not worth it not only are you dealing with the crappy work safety there sometimes you had crappy guests you know i had one guy that checked in and it was 2 a.m and he was a diamond member and checked him in mind you this was my third check-in third i was by myself i already had previous night night audit experience so it wasn't too bad so thanked him for his diamond membership and then he was pretty much just like, aren't you forgetting something? I was like, uh, I knew he was gonna, I knew he wanted, he was, good. he was talking about the cookie. And I was just like, I'm not sure. He's like, you must be new. I'm like, yeah, it's my third day. He's like, I want, uh, I need my cookie. I'm like, sir, it's, it's 1 a.m. The cookies are done. They gave them all out during the day. We're hot. We'll have more in the morning. So yeah, you get, you get customers like that. Not customers, not guests, assholes. You get assholes like that. But yeah, the, uh. The experience working there the people were nice i find it crazy though that when i did go through my hiring process i had to make a copy of my social security and then i gave it to the manager and he left it on the counter for anyone to you know see and i was just like and not not the counter behind you know in the back office it was the counter right in the front one of the employees saw it and was like hey i think this is yours i was like oh the heck so yeah i took that and that was on my second day there and i was just like wow okay but yeah, but yeah, it wasn't the best job. It wasn't a good job at all, actually. So as far as stories goes, as my second day there, this should have been assigned to turn around and you know, not come back. We had this bum come in and he was talking to one of the engineer guys. And then I, I checked someone in and then I looked back and then this one girl walked up and she's just like, yeah, I think my guy just threw up all over the, the thing. And I looked over and I was like, that doesn't look like throw up. I can't really see it, but that doesn't. It's like there's some there's looks like there's a puddle of something so me and the uh one other employee walk out there there was a huge puddle of blood huge puddle of blood in two different sections and apparently it came out of his nose so this is a bum probably shot up something sniffed something i don't know but apparently that happened and then he went went right into the, the hotel went to the right where our bathrooms are and then a couple minutes later i was talking to the engineer and then he was just like oh was it that one guy uh like described him the dude had like dreads it's like is it the i was like he has dreads the engineer and was like oh it's that guy yeah he comes in he comes in you know once a week and shoots up and passes out in the bathroom i was like is that a normal thing like how do you guys allow that you know he does that he tells his friends and his friends think oh yeah it's it's cool to come in here what so yeah, anyways, that engineer guy went in there and then ended up kicking him out. <sighs> Another story, um, my fifth day working there, and uh, this dude walks in, has a little suitcase, barely walking, you could tell that he was super drunk. You guys have a bathroom? Sir, the bathroom's over to the right hand side. Honestly, I should've told him, there's no bathroom. You gotta be a guest. But no, I like to, I like to see the good people. You know, maybe he was, uh, he was too drunk to know where his room was at whatever he goes over there about 10 minutes 10 minutes pass i set a timer for uh for 17 minutes i'm like if this guy doesn't come back in 17 minutes i'm going over there i'm kicking him out set a timer 10 minutes pass uh one of the security guys walk up and I'm like hey that dude went over there and and i haven't seen him in a minute so security goes over there comes back talks to me and goes over there for a little bit and he comes back over here and he's like yeah, he's sitting on the bench. I was like, the dude asked where the bathroom was. So he was going to use the bathroom. Now he's sitting on the bench. Before I went over there, I'm like, he's like, yeah, um, I don't know. The security guard was just like, I don't know. I'm like, what? I was like, I'm going to go kick him out. So I walked over there and I'm like, sir. Like, oh. I thought I was, I said to him, I thought you were going to use the bathroom. The bathroom's, the bathroom's right there. Oh, what are you talking about? 
Like, I thought you were going to use the bathroom. Bathroom's right there. Like, oh, dude gets up, goes into the bathroom. Another three minutes pass, still in there. Actually, another five minutes pass, he's still in there. That's when the security guard goes in there. And then dude's the bum, bum's passed out on the toilet. And that's when we you know, kicked him out. But yeah, I shouldn't have to deal with any of that. Another story. First day on the job, right when I got hired, my one of my managers was giving me a tour of the property. We're at the pool area. We see some people's clothes and stuff. And then we walked over to the uh, the jacuzzi. This girl was topless. She had no top on. And this other dude was just filming her. And then she like ducks underneath the, the water jacuzzi. My manager is like, oh, is that your like, stuff over there? They were pretty much just like, um, yeah, that's our stuff. Manager's like, oh, okay, um, well, let me know if you guys need anything. Then we walked off. I was like, pretty sure she was, she didn't have a top on. He's like, yeah, I don't think she did. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll uh, double back to check. Just like, wow, first day. All this crazy stuff happening. So yeah, if you are thinking about working in hospitality, expect the unexpected, and also check out the property that you're gonna that you're gonna be working at. The property sucks. You're not gonna have a fun time. So yeah, I ended up leaving after about a week of or sorry, me or yeah, about a week and week and a half. I ended up leaving. Alright guys, 